Hey, what's going on guys? MBG here. Thanks for checking out the video today. So today I wanted to have a discussion regarding the future of Xbox. And when I say future, I'm not actually talking about next generation. I'm actually talking about the remainder of this generation. And this conversation is going to involve PlayStation. And the reason for that being is some of you may have checked out my last video. And basically to sum up that video, it was talking about Spider-Man for PS4 and how Microsoft needs to take notes and they need to learn from it. But actually a lot of that video was me pretty much being hard on Xbox because I feel like there was there's no answer. Microsoft doesn't have an answer for this game that Sony has. And in my opinion, even though I'm looking forward to Forza Horizon 4, that is not the answer. That's not the answer to God of War. That's not the answer, especially to Spider-Man. And it got me thinking. It got me thinking about the future of Xbox and PlayStation and the remainder of this generation. And I have to ask the question, what is Microsoft's answer going to be for Sony's upcoming games? Like The Last of Us Part Two, Ghost of Tsushima, and um you know even days gone coming up soon games like that death stranding what what's what is microsoft going to do for its fans when it comes to exclusive games what what is the answer going to be how are they going to compete well we know about crackdown 3 and i'm not even going to talk about that here because we all know the horrific development cycle that this game is clearly going through and it's starting to look like Microsoft just is going to force it out the door regardless of how good of a game it actually is because they know they would get much more flack and much more pushback if they chose to cancel it. Basically, it seems like they have no choice but to release the game. And I still, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I don't, I'm not feeling confident at all in Crackdown 3. I, I want to... I want so badly to think this could be a good game, but based off of everything we've heard and seen so far, and the fact that it has basically zero marketing as of right now, no, I, I, I don't think that's going to compete with Days Gone. I don't think that that's going to compete with anything that Sony has to offer. And again, it's not the answer to anything. Now, it could end up being a, a good game, and I hope it is. And if it is, then okay, maybe we can count that as an answer to something. So Microsoft has something. But I'm tired of saying that. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of saying that. I'm tired of saying, well, at least Microsoft released Sea of Thieves or at least they released State of Decay 2 because there's nothing wrong with those games per se, but there is something wrong when they're basically the only games. You know, like there needs to be more and they need to be better. And that's just the truth. And I sit here and I look to the future and I think, okay, well, there's Crackdown 3 and then there's Gears 5. There's Gears of War 5, but let's say The Last of Us Part 2 launches holiday 2019. Let's say that's when the same time Gears of War 5 is going to launch. That's that's going to be Microsoft's answer. Another Gears game to compete with arguably one of the most anticipated games of this generation. It's going to be Gears of War 5. Is, is there going to be something else? The next Halo game. I know that there's a lot of people who are excited for that, and even though we hear the whole Halo Gears Forza thing, it's guaranteed we're going to get a Forza Motorsport 8, and at this point, I don't even want to talk about Forza. I don't, because it's try like, we, we know, I'm not trying to downplay it, but we know it's there, and it's always going to be there, and it's not going anywhere. But again, it's not the answer to games, these games that Sony has lined up. And the games that Sony has released. And I feel really bad as an Xbox guy that I have to sit here and think like this. Because it's not acceptable, you know? And it, it really is bothering me. Like, I went to... I saw the Spider-Man advertisement. The official uh, advertisement for it. Uh, when I was watching the Eagles-Falcons game the other night. And it blew me away. It was... a it was awesome. Like, it was one of the best commercials, let alone game commercials, I'd ever seen. 
And I thought, my God, like, Sony is just crushing it, man. Like, they are absolutely crushing it. And I thought, if if a game like Spider-Man, which, let's be honest here, I think we can safely say that a game like Spider-Man, developed by Insomniac, it's Insomniac's first time making a game like this, I think the hype levels would are we could assume are lower for a game like Spider-Man than say The Last of Us Part 2 or um or especially a game like Death Stranding. And I think if if they can achieve this level of success with with the hype levels being a little bit lower what what's going to happen when these games come out? And here's here's the most important part of this conversation. What the hell is Microsoft going to do? Because it's really starting to feel, and it really feels this way when when Sony releases these big, highly successful games, it really feels like Microsoft is just laying down and taking a beating, and they're just not going to do anything. And I feel like the only thing they're going to do is say, we'll get you next gen. And I mean, I don't necessarily know if they have a choice, and that's the sad, that's like the worst part of this conversation. I don't know if they have a choice. I don't know if there's something they can do right now or something they can do to be ready for next year or even 2020 when these games that are currently in development at Sony eventually release. I don't know if there's anything they can do. Making big games that Sony is making, it takes time. And Sony had a plan and they are executing that plan pretty much flawlessly. And I don't even know if Microsoft had a plan. And I know, you guys, I, I understand that there was a big shift back in 2014. And they basically they pretty much start everything over. But even then, like, how can we get the Xbox One X, but we don't have the games? The games that we want. The games that we would hope to see by this point, or that we hope to see in 2019. How is it that we see another E3 go by, and we get... Yeah, it's, it's great to see Halo, but we knew about that. And not only that, we saw very little of it. And we, I think most of us are assuming it's going to be a next-gen title. It could launch at the end of this generation, and that would help a lot. But it's, where's the new IP? You know? Where is, um, why, why is Gears 5, like, the only big AAA exclusive game with a tangible release date? Or, you know, a release window. Why do we have to sit here and say, year in, well, we know we're getting another Forza, but that's about it. It, it, gets, it gets to a point where it becomes so clear why Sony is dominating the way they are. And as an Xbox guy who tries to be optimistic and tries to be positive, and I'm not trying to be too negative here. I'm not sitting here saying, like, I'm done with Xbox and I'm tired of their shit or, you know, it's nothing like that. It's just genuine, like, disappointment in the sense of I have to question why it's like this and why Microsoft and Phil Spencer and everybody who's part of Xbox just are seemingly taking it. I mean, when I see people who are part of the Xbox team congratulating Sony and Insomniac Games on Spider-Man. I don't have a problem with that. That's fine. But where the problem lies is you're doing this while simultaneously doing nothing for your the, the, the fans of your platform. And when I say nothing, I'm strictly speaking about the exclusive games. And... I want you to understand, for anybody who's listening to this who may enjoy the games that Microsoft does offer, games that have come out in the past, games like Gears 4, Quantum Break, um, you know, even Halo Wars 2, games like Sea of Thieves, State of Decay 2, if you're looking forward to Crackdown 3, if you're excited for Gears 5, that's great, you know, and there's a part of me that feels, uh, that understands, you know, because there is stuff I enjoy on the Xbox platform as well. But there is, there is a clear line here that separates Microsoft from Sony when it comes to the games. Just like there's a clear line that separates the PS4 Pro from the Xbox One X. But the difference is, there's only one 
Xbox One X, and there's only one PS4 Pro. And it's a clear line, and it's not going to make as big of an impact in the long run as the games will. Because the line between the games, when it comes to what Microsoft offers and what Sony offers, it's growing. You know, that it's, it, it, it's the, the gap is widening. And it shouldn't be. It should be the opposite. Microsoft should be slowly but surely doing better and catching up. And it seems like this generation, that's just not going to be a reality. And a lot of people have told me, like, there's no point in having these conversations because Microsoft has already waved the white flag. And there's a part of me that doesn't want to believe that they're just going to let the generation end by them basically getting the shit kicked out of them. Because they already got the shit kicked out of them at the start of this generation, And they made a lot of positive changes, and, you know, I give them a lot of credit for what they did with the Xbox One X. They've been making some serious progress. They've been making some serious progress with, um, with Xbox. But to sit here and think that they're just going to allow it to end this way, where Sony has these massive games ready to go, and Microsoft is just seemingly going to continue down the Gears Forza Halo route or the Gears Halo or Halo Gears Forza whatever you want to call it the fact that it seems like that's the approach they're going to take to just let this generation end I don't know man like I I can't I have nothing good to say about that and it's it's no offense to the people who do enjoy those games because again to an extent I enjoy it but we deserve more and I, I know that I haven't brought it up yet, but talking about the five studios that Microsoft announced at E3, you guys know, like, if there's anybody here who is excited for that and happy for that, it's me. But that's not, you know, that's not going to make up right for right now. That's not going to make up for the way this generation seemingly is going to end. I'm getting tired of it, man. And... I have a lot of uh I have a lot of things that I do enjoy about Xbox in general and there's like a lot of reasons I choose not to um just like switch over to PlayStation but I won't sit here and make it seem like games like Spider-Man are not slowly but surely killing Xbox because they are I don't care what you have to say. I don't care how big of an Xbox fan you are. If you can't see that when ga- every time a game like God of War releases or Horizon Zero Dawn or now with Spider-Man and eventually The Last of Us Part 2 and Days Gone and Death Stranding, every time these games release, and even games like Detroit Become Human, a lot of people enjoyed that, they are just put, it's just another nail in the coffin and you know what the problem is i don't fault sony they're they're doing what any gaming company would do what any company would do i fault microsoft because they're just lying in the coffin they're not trying to fight it they're not trying to fight back they're just letting this happen and they're congratulating them they're congratulating them did anybody from sony congratulate Microsoft on the launch of State of Decay 2? I don't think so, because there's nothing to congratulate. Oh, congratulations, your game launched as a buggy, as a, as a, a buggy mess. Cool. Like, it, it, it doesn't make sense to me. It, it doesn't make sense to me. It's disappointing. It's unacceptable. And I don't like this idea that I'm going to have to sit here as an Xbox fan, and just watch it continue happen for the next two years. I don't like this idea that I'm just expected to wait until next gen. Because I don't want to do that. I really don't. And all I can hope is that Microsoft has something else up their sleeve. But until then, we're just going to have to wait and find out, guys. That does it for the video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Leave a like if you did enjoy it, and subscribe for more content like this if you haven't already. But until next time, guys, take care.